Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Tofu. In today's episode, Tofu using a flashlight to look at the veins in my hand. Tofu by conducting a meeting about the need for more WAPs at work due to the new flexible seating arrangements and open office setting as we return to the office with a hybrid on-site and WFH schedule. Tofu by petting a customer's dog. Tofu by not checking to see if my boyfriend had his webcam on before walking in. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Tofu using a flashlight to look at the veins in my hand. Earlier tonight my wife had a small red bump on the side of her foot. She took some ibuprofen and the redness and swelling went away, but she swore she felt a lump in her foot where the bump was. She can be a bit of a hypochondriac, so I though to put her mind at ease I would use a flashlight to put against her foot to show her veins. My train of thought was we would see her veins, and if there was a lump of some sort we would see it in such a small thin bony part of the body. Once we didn't see anything she would relax. So my plan worked and she immediately felt better. But it forgot how cool it is to see the red skin and veins in your body. I decided to do it on myself. I sat on the coffee table and put the flashlight under my left hand using the right hand to hold the flashlight. This isn't a normal flashlight. It's a 1000 lumen tactical flashlight. So I had it up against my hand and am amazed by all the vessels running through my palm and fingers. I lean over and am staring intensely. Suddenly the lens got really hot. I don't know how hot it was, but it burned just like touching a hot stove. I moved my hand instead of the flashlight. The problem was I was still looking down at the light. 1000 lumens straight to eyes. It immediately blinded me and the natural reaction was to sit up and throw myself backwards. I fell over off the coffee table and landed between the couch and coffee table. So I'm laying there, burned and blind trying to think why I do this kind of stuff to myself. It's been 30 minutes and I still see a bright circle when I blink. Tofu by conducting a meeting about the need for more WAPs at work due to the new flexible seating arrangements and open office setting as we return to the office with a hybrid on-site and WFH schedule. We are a mid-sized organization and we are all returning to work and we can pick our on-site schedule to meet a 40% on-site slash 60% WFH schedule. Since we don't need regular cubicles so much anymore, the nice and tidy cube farms have been rearranged and many cubes will just be removed in the coming weeks. Here is my tofu, I came in and tested wireless throughput in areas where more people will be, and I was worried about terrible throughput rates. The results were dismal with even just my single laptop doing multiple file downloads, it was clear we needed more WAPs, a lot more WAPs. I put together my PowerPoint and I was so proud of my work, I asked to speak during the back to work IT meeting that same day with all of the managers and any individual contributors that wanted to get the skinny on what's what. I am given the go ahead and I share my screen and I am on the slides title screen, we need more WAPs, a lot more WAPs. Well, I found out pretty quick many many folks were not muted as I heard laughing and snickering and my manager jumped in and asked me to explain what a WAP is, and I said it is a wireless access point in this slideshow but it is also wireless access protocol other times if we are talking about ways to connect with different wireless cards or IoT devices. Privately he chatted with just me, but of course since I was sharing my full desktop it popped up and everyone saw where he asked do I know of any pop songs with the phrase WAP. Well that was it, the meeting was pretty much done at that point, muted participants, or not muted, it was clear that I created a hilarious presentation somehow. Sensing I had lost the audience's focus, I said I would send out the slides to anyone who wanted it, but I wrapped up with the summary that we pretty much needed more WAPs near all the break rooms, in the hallways, and all the new common areas, in case the dismal throughput results weren't clear. I have since found out I am the hero for daring to say we needed to do things differently post-pandemic, but after finding out that WAP also means something totally unrelated to geeky IT networking stuff, I don't want to be that guy. I am too old for this sh asterisk t. Tofu by petting a customer's dog. This happened today. 
This happened hours ago, and I am still not okay. I work at a big box hardware store. One of my favorite parts about this job is that we allow pets. I've met everything from snakes to ferrets, from baby pigs to a cockatoo. Of course, the most popular pets are dogs. I always ask before petting them, I never even ask when it comes to service dogs as I don't want to distract them from their job, and it's never been a problem. Until today. I was walking through the store after assisting a customer when I noticed another customer perusing goods. He had a big, beautiful blue pit bull. I immediately asked if I could pet the dog, and he said absolutely. The dog, hilariously named Steve, as in Blue's Clue Steve, was a total love bug. As soon as I approached he did the full body, but wiggle and started trying to give me kisses. It was wonderful, adorable, so lovely. Then he rolled onto his back. It was at that moment that I noticed Steve was not neutered, and that his red rocket was out. I've had dogs, so I know how this can happen if they get excited. I thought nothing of it and kept my hands to his upper chest. Oh, I wish I'd stopped. Steve suddenly wiggled so hard that his back end swung around. My arm made contact with his red rocket and I felt something warm and sticky. I froze solid, scooted away, and realized I could also feel that grossness on my leg as I was wearing shorts. The shock of what had just happened combined with my disgust sent me, running, to the janitorial closet to clean myself with the industrial-level chemicals. I also threw up in the janitorial floor drain. Even after scrubbing my skin red, I could still feel the phantom of the freaking jizz. I washed my arm over and over, and for the rest of my shift just kept reliving the worst experience I've ever had while working retail, Black Fridays included. I unfortunately don't think I'll ever forget this, and I am never petting an unneutered dog again. To fool by not checking to see if my boyfriend had his webcam on before walking in. I work the night shift in the hospital, so my sleep-wake cycle is completely flip-flopped. I go to work at 7 p.m., get home the next morning, have dinner, then go to bed. My boyfriend has a normal 9-to-5, work-from-home job. His computer is set up in the bonus room downstairs where I usually watch TV. Normally when he's on a video call he just shuts the door so I know not to come in. This morning I check the fridge, find some leftover ribs, and heat them up for my dinner. The door downstairs is open, so I walk down there and sit on the ground by the coffee table directly behind him. He has his headset on, but this isn't unusual. He listens to a lot of music. I start digging in. I just worked over 12 hours without a lunch break and I'm ravenous. And these are some messy ribs, y'all. The layer of sauce on them is half an inch thick. The meat is so tender it's falling off the bone, and I'm slurping it into my mouth like an animal before it falls onto the plate. My face and hands look like a murder scene. I have to do this weird waddle thing to stand up without using my arms and leave to shower. Boyfriend comes up a bit later. Turns out he was in a video conference and everyone could see me. While I'm sitting there. Eating a plate of ribs in my sweatpants. At 9 in the morning. Cute. Anyway. I'll be passing away now.